Yesterday, the 2024 Minister Summer Conference has concluded, and I'd like to share a brief report on it. By the grace of God, the 2024 Minister Summer Conference concluded yesterday after a two-day schedule. I sincerely thank all the saints for your prayers. This year's conference faced significant challenges in deciding whether to hold it online or in person. Given the church's security concerns and with all the other events taking place, such as the 2024 Summer Conference, the General Assembly, because of these other events, it was quite burdensome to make a decision but it was taken place by God's grace. And another difficulty was that Philip Lee was the one who had previously led the history of redemption seminars and academies nationwide, but the pastors from outside of our church actually are not knowledgeable in the current situation. And since there were negative perceptions toward our church, there were uncertainties about how many ministers would actually participate. But when we look at the results, through the academies in Korea, about 350 ministers pre-registered and about 40 to 50 registered on site. And this brings a total of 390 or 400. But since some were unable to attend due to reasons like COVID, about 336 ministers participated. So that is not a small number. There were two worship services, four lectures, and we watched a video of Ezekiel's temple. And there was a briefing on the church's current situation. And then we had the presentations of case studies by ministers who uh, are in part of academies and teach the word of redemptive history. And each session was filled with amazing grace and blessings. Among the ministers who attended, many were first-time attendees. And they are probably attendees who received the books through you. Also, Ezekiel's Temple was this year's topic and several expressed their gratitude for explaining this difficult content. Also, many told us that the saints, uh, their faces are very bright, and they were impressed by how much care was put in preparing the meals. I believe, uh, and I felt that this was not just empty words, but I felt their sincerity. Although there were four case study presentations, but there were testimonies that after teaching this word or encountering this word of redemptive history, their ministry has changed. This amazing work is taking place in every corner of our country. From this year's conference, I personally felt that through the brown churches in Korea, seminars and academies are taking place. But in order for that to expand, we need to cooperate more with our branch churches. And we need to further activate the academies and seminars in Korea. The Minister's Summer Conference for that work is a significant gathering for everybody to come together for that work. So next year, we're going to prepare with more care. And I have come to realize how important this conference is. On the other hand, in order to uh, accommodate these many guests, actually, uh, we still face challenges such as accommodations. We are lacking lodging places. And also the women's group worked so hard because the weather was very hot, but there was no air conditioning or proper ventilation in the kitchen. They prepared seven meals during the conference. And I visited them <laughs> when they were cleaning after the event. And I felt like they were working with a mind. If I die, then I die. So in a way, I was so thankful, but also I felt so sorry for them. Even though it costs money, uh, we are planning to review and repair and upgrade the facilities. I have this determ determination, so please be assured. 
Uh, for this year's ministers' conference, including 21 from Hepzibah College Group, as well as the Elders Association and Men's and Women's Ministries, a total of 123 saints contributed their efforts. But I feel like there needs to be more, about 200 saints, so that we can accommodate about four or 500 ministers. For all the women's group, all the saints who volunteered, we thank you. And 11 members of the women's ministry from Daegu Sansung Church came and volunteered at the restaurant. And they were experienced volunteers at the restaurants. Also the Shalom Cafe and the Beersheba. Some people even said, actually some ministers said, they came. For the udon, they could not rem uh, forget the taste. Of course, they wouldn't have just come for the udon, but every single element of the conference gave a good impression to them so we can continue this uh, conference. And this year, the beddings were a problem because we don't have this problem during the summer conference since everybody brings their own. But now, because we have the guests and we need the bedding for every single person, it was so hard for the women's group to you know, uh, launder the bedding and take it up the stairs and bring them down. Yeah. So I truly thank the women's group, the board members, and the bedding team. And because there were not enough volunteers in the cleaning areas, the female evangelists finished cleaning because there were not enough people. And the buses were to leave at 3, but it could not leave on time because they were still cleaning. So many things happened. And I especially thank the administrative staff, starting from the summer conference until the minister's conference, they did so much work. And it's important because all the work that the breakaway side had done before, they are doing it uh, this time. So there are some things that are doing, uh, and it's new to them, and there are trials and errors. So this was the circumstances until this year's conference. And although there were some mistake or we were lacking, I was really thankful we're able to, we're going to overcome them. So all of the church staff and all of the ministers from Pyongyang Church and branch churches worldwide, I truly thank you as well. And I have reflected a lot about how uh, we are to carry out the movement of redemptive history. And one more thing that I'm thankful is that we had raffles. And I didn't know that I wasn't expecting it to be so heated. The beef and like the 300,000 gift cards, they were big. And we prepared three tablets. And one pastor came and said, give it to me. He stood up and just requested it. And if I had leisure, I wanted to get him one. And this was not done by the finances of the church, but this was done by the support of the saints. And another saint, uh, the product that the saint sells in his or her business, it was also given through the raffle. So this is not small. I saw a big vision, and I was so thankful for the support of the saints. And one pastor said this. One pastor suggested that the content of the conference is very global, and now we need to prepare for an international-scale minister summer conference next year. So we're going to work on improving, and if we continue to hold these events, then this can become a very popular and famous gathering worldwide. So it's very, I'm very thankful, nationwide, sorry. And also last time, um, there are those who are disadvantaged because their faces were shown online. So this time we did not have a YouTube streaming, but because the lectures were so grace-filled, starting from tomorrow, we're going to have the lectures go up on YouTube. So please listen to them and receive the grace of the word of Ezekiel's temple. Not just the saints who have come today, but for all those giving worship online and the saints of the churches of the word worldwide, I hope you will all listen and receive grace. Thank you.